What is up y'all and welcome to Home Hair Academy on The Real Ray with me, Ray. If you are new here, I'm Ray. I'm a professional hairstylist, cosmetologist, beautician, whatever you wanna call me, that's me, but only nice things, please. And today we are gonna do a little experiment with Susan. A shampoo cap is a combination of powdered bleach, peroxide, AKA hair developer, and shampoo. But I know that you can just mix water and bleach and get some lift to pull out like a toner or something. And I don't think I've ever actually done it. So I figured Susan would be a great time to do this. And so this is like a mini shampoo cap sans the peroxide. Because you don't have the peroxide, it's gonna be less damaging. In my next video, we will do her full shampoo cap. So stay tuned for that. And once we get all of that lifted, then I'm gonna do one more Wella Toner video once she is super light. So I'm super excited about that and I hope you are too. Uh, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so we are getting going on our shampoo cap with Susan. So step number one, let's mix up a little bit of bleach powder and water. And then we are gonna get Susan's hair good and wet with like lukewarm water and basically put it on there like shampoo or like you would a toner. Don't forget to wear gloves even though we are not using peroxide right now. If you have like a plastic cap, it would be a good time to put over it because if you are a real human, you've got all this heat coming out from your head and that helps to keep the bleach a moving and going. Speeds it up and makes it work that much better. If you don't have a cap on hand, but don't wanna wait to get one, get just like a Walmart bag and wrap it around your head or even saran wrap. Um, again, just kind of like keep an eye on what's going on. All right, once she has lifted to the area we want, we'll just rinse, shampoo, and use a nice, heavy conditioner. All right, so I think it actually turned out really well uh, for removing the toner. Uh, maybe there's like a little bit left, but it's definitely not as ashy anymore. So I will probably <laughs> use this little trick in the salon. I'm kind of bummed out that I hadn't done it before. It didn't really do much to the back that was darker. It might have lifted it like a teensy tiny bit, but honestly, for the purpose of like just pulling out a toner or something that's like, over deposited you wouldn't really want it to lift the other stuff so 
For me, this is a win. She's a little dry, but I also use volumizing shampoo and conditioner, which is not very hydrating. Um, so yeah, just make sure and use something hydrating. Let me know how you feel about this in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that. It helps me to grow my YouTube channel. I will see your beautiful faces so soon. It's the real race. Bye.